Shalom everybody, welcome back to the channel. I'm with a familiar face, Dr. Tovia Book. It's great to have you back on the journey. Good to be back. Today we're going to introduce you to a groundbreaking tour, one of Israel's newest national parks here at Ein Bokek. Listen to that. We're right next to Highway 90. And what are we going to show the folks here? From civilization straight to the desert state of mind. We are about to enter a world UNESCO heritage site oasis within seconds from all that noise to peace and tranquility. Let's do it. On our way. Right, and there you have it. 20 seconds into the start of the run and you're in this cool water, easy, flat, runnable, perfect for trail running. And for families of all ages. Of course, as you can see. Just have a look at this. Wow. <laughs> This is what I'm talking about. Here we go. Seeing is believing. 680 meters into our run and we've arrived at this gem of a pool. Crystal clear, cool waters. We're in mid-August. Dr. Bull, get in there. Yes! That's it! Woo! Woo! Okay, let me come and sit next to you. Hang on. I've done many, many water hikes in the land of Israel, but there is not one water hike in Israel where so quickly you find yourself an extreme difference, just like you said. Unbelievable. Wow. So friends, continue this journey with us. Tulia and I are going to try and get to the top cliff so that we can get you some drone footage to show you what it looks like from above. Remember to subscribe to the channel and you can get to experience some of these amazing wilderness spots with us right here. Subscribe below. See you out there. Peace. Okay, there are countless ways that you can enjoy this pool. You can either do what Tuvia is doing, or check this out. You can slide down the waterfall into the pool. It's a paradise of fun. Alrighty. We're probably more than halfway up our ascent on the Black Trail. Now, the time to do this hike would be in spring and autumn. Winter months are a problem because of flash floods. But to me, you know, the truth is we couldn't do this hike about 10 years ago because the water that we swam in, and which is still keeping us cool by the way, is treated water. They basically desalinated the water and allowed it to flow because there was a lot of industrial waste that found its way into the water. So it's one of the reasons I haven't brought you here before. Most of my visits are to Ein Gedi to Nachal David and Nachal Arugot but this is now a super alternative and that's why you saw them groundbreaking trust me this is going to become a very popular hike so you're seeing it in its barren beginnings but the barren ain't barren because you can keep cool in treated water Whoa. <laughs> wow Friends, there you have it. The hotel district of Ein Bokek on the shores of these evaporation ponds. And down there in the parking lot is our car and the trailhead. Now let me take you up above and I'll follow that green line towards the pool that we had to swim in. It's so quick, it's so easy, it's so gorgeous. Right, hope you enjoyed those views. We're now heading down on the red trail, which will take us past a sulfur spring called Ein Nuit. There it is in front of us. And we'll take you down to a fort 
right next to the trailhead and give you a little bit of history it's not only nature in Israel there's always a story to tell I thought that's where we were going <laughs> <laughs> I thought so right we're almost down and check it out here's ancient Ein Bokek and in the background modern Ein Bokek now I wonder what this could be could it be an old hotel a house it's definitely food for fort. A Roman fort. You're kidding me. But why is a Roman fort here? Where are the Romans? Obviously, they built a fort because there's a road, a main road, the only main road. And behind us, as we just saw, a plentiful source of water. And the Romans came to Judea in blood and fire, and they vanished in blood and fire. Why are they not here today? Why are the Jews back again and the Romans just dust and ashes? Because the Jews did three things. They kept our traditions, we kept, we kept our sense of community, and most importantly, we never forgot where we belong right here in the land of Israel. And behind these dusty ruins, you see the whole beautiful scene here as Ein Bokek has come back to life 2,000 years later as the Jews returned to their land. Superb. Always inspiring being with Dr. Tobia Book. I hope you guys have enjoyed that little taste of Anvil Kick. So much to do, so much to see. 3.78 kilometers. That's all it is. So simple, so beautiful. So we look forward to seeing you in the next one. Peace out, everybody. The Romans are just a speck of history, and the Jews are once back again because of three things. They kept us. Oh my god. Obvious why there's a fort. Two reasons. The road. <laughs> no, it's your fault. I got them too right. So uh, most importantly, where are the Romans today? <laughs> oh, I love it. <laughs>